no propaganda, no lies, and definitely no BS. You're with Johnny Vidmore on today's News Talk TNT. So, talking about somewhere else, so talking about another state, Louisiana has been laying down the law, God's law in fact, uh, Louisiana have mandated the Ten Commandments requiring classrooms to display the commandments in their classrooms uh, across the states, uh, I, I, across the state. Are you happy about this? Oh, hell yes, I am. Absolutely, I am. And as a matter of fact, I share Donald Trump's uh, sentiment who uh, tweeted at 1.22 a.m., I love the Ten Commandments in public schools, private schools, and many other places for that matter. Read it. How can we as a nation go wrong? And I agree. This may be, in fact, the first major step in the revival of religion, which is desperately needed in our country. Bring back the Ten Commandments, MAGA 2024. I agree with all of that wholeheartedly. And I guess the question that I would, would ask back uh, what exactly in the list of the Ten Commandments exactly do people find so objectionable from a moral standpoint of what it's trying to say that we would be so upset that it would be in the schools? Okay, well, a good question back. Uh, let's uh, play devil's advocate then, if we don't mind a little bit of a pun. But it, doesn't it go against the basic principle of separating church and state? Well, I'm glad you asked me that. As a matter of fact, it doesn't, because there really is no necessarily principle of uh, separation between church and state. That term comes from a letter that was written by Thomas Jefferson to the Danbury Baptist Association. And what he was doing at the time was reassuring them that we will in no way be establishing a state religion. Because you understand that they fleed from you're, uh, from Europe, from England specifically, under religious persecution. Many of the Puritans, they weren't allowed to worship as they wished to. And so what happened was they came to this country because they wanted to worship Christianity the way that they wanted to. Uh, hence, denominationalism denomin was born, right? And, and things started to separate off. And, uh, you know, after the split from the Anglican Church. And so what you had is a situation where he was writing, explaining that the, 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 the First Amendment and the Bill of Rights, right, it, 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 there will be no establishment of a state religion in this country. And so that was penned in, on January 1st, 1802. And for the next 50 years, they continued to hold church in the Capitol. As a matter of fact, it was the Hall of the House of Representatives. And thousands of people attended these uh, um, services, as well as Thomas Jefferson. So all the local people, the politicians, until Washington was built up enough, and there were a lot of churches that, were, um, that started up. And so people began to worship in these other denominations and different churches. And so the chapel idea kind of faded away in around 1850. So I guess if there was this great wall of separation between church and state, um, then why would we have been uh, having a church in, in the Capitol for so long after that letter or that, that term was coined? See, I think that term has been hijacked. I mean, if you look in, in all the courthouses, the Ten Commandments were there until not so recently. They started tearing them out. And people started suing and getting them out. All these people that are atheists, right? They want to get rid of and erase God from our culture. It's the same reason they, uh, they got rid of uh, B.C., and A.D., right, on Anno Domini, which means the year of our Lord, and it was before Christ. Now it's before Common Era and Common Era. What the hell does that mean? It's bullshit. What it was done to, to separate God and the moorings from our, 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 our country and our culture, and it's been a march ever since. And so, you know, this happened in the schools, right? Uh, when they took the prayer out of schools, it is arguable that every single metric uh, of social disease Right. It went up. Teen pregnancy went up. Uh, all, all this stuff went up when they took prayer and God out of schools. This is merely reversing the trend and putting it square back where it belongs, because John Adams said that our Constitution is only designed and will only function to govern a moral and religious people, moral and religious. And people see these things as negative guardrails when actually they're necessary to ensure a free society. In a society where you, where you don't have that is less free because then you got to make a law for everything, right? And so 
I, I think I, I fully uh, believe that the, the idea that the separation of church and state is merely the fact that we will not establish a single religion like they, they have over in the Ukraine. They shut down all the other churches. And they have one single church. So I think that's the long answer to your question. Yeah, so okay. But I, I agree that um, a, a wall of uh, separation between church and state was coined by Thomas Jefferson in the Danbury Letter in 1802. But, and, 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 but then it was accepted as a principle as well. And the principles evolve. So it's not necessarily the co op of the the term or the hijacking of the term but principles are accepted and do evolve within our society and and um stephanie rosenberg in the chat says if the ten commandments is to be displayed and this is a thought experiment that uh, of course uh I'll, I'll, I, I'm going to do something. I'm going to say this, and then I'm going to go to the quick new, uh, news headlines, and we can come back, and you can answer it, so you can think about it a little bit. But if the Ten Commandments is to be displayed I I in public places, then any and all religious uh, doctrine should be displayed. For example, the seven tenets of the officially recognized religion of the Satanic Temple uh, should be potentially displayed. You can come back on that after we go to a quick headlines you're listening to today's news talk tnt this is johnny vedmore on today's news talk tnt tnt 